One, two, three. Okay, here we go. Well, I'm going to get started in just a moment. I want to talk about a few things here on the Cogent Talk channel, otherwise known as Cogent Talk TV. And I'm your host, otherwise known as the Congentivist, if you will. I go by the name of Bobby Sage. Bobby Sage is my name, the Congentivist here on the Cogent Talk channel on your Saturday doing a program here today to talk about items of uh, some interest to some people maybe not so many to others but uh, just want to start some conversation have some good conversation and uh, maybe get your thoughts if you would I do welcome uh, emails by the way emails email me at cogentconvo at gmail.com it's cogentconvo at google mail dot com for any of um any things you might want to discuss or want me to bring up in a future show, I'll get into my bio and stuff later on as I'm just getting things started out and getting things kicked off here for your Saturday. But in the meantime, let me let you get you, get yourselves adjusted to uh, what it is, whatever it is I might be talking about and bring it forth. I'm going to start off with uh, today with uh, talking about Takashi 69 and the Takashi 69 effect, if you will, I guess uh, I like to call it. It's just uh, something I ran across here on uh, the interwebs, and I drew up a little quick something, but I'll get to that in just a minute. I'm going to get myself together, and I would suggest that you do the same, and I'll be right back here on the Cogent Talk Channel. Back here on the Cogent Talk Channel, I'm your host, the Cogentivist, otherwise known as the Cogentivist. Anyway, Bobby Sage here. Bobby Sage. And I just wanted to open up today's program by talking about, well, the most recent news with regard to uh, Takashi 69 Otherwise, his government name, I believe, was is uh, Daniel Hernandez. I took the time to read the 18-page indictment. And the charges look pretty, pretty serious. I mean, that's just an understatement. And pretty serious, pretty serious charges here. So, uh, but what I want to do first is uh, get into a, uh, a video. Actually, I'm going to play the audio from a video that I found on YouTube that says that uh, there were other individuals that were listed on that indictment. That served as a bad influence to Takashi 69 And I'm going to play, uh, I don't know, I'm going to play a segment from it, maybe just a few minutes of it, and uh, see what you think. If you need to add to the conversation, feel free to email me, please, at cogentconvo at gmail.com. Cogentconvo at gmail.com. And uh, let me play this for a little bit and let you, you know, let you hear it for yourselves. All right, people. See this video right here? I'm going to piss some people off. Whether it be the gang members, the drug dealers, the street soldiers, whatever. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm not here to sugarcoat nothing. I'm just here to keep it real. To give you the raw and uncut truth. I'm just keeping it funky. Now, with that being said, Shoddy, Mr. Treyway. Mel Matrix, 
aka Mel Murder. Grown ass 40 year old man running around calling himself Mel Murder, right? These two dudes is a prime example of who you don't want your daughter with. These two dudes are a prime example of what you don't want your sons to grow up to be. These two dudes are a prime example of who you should keep your children away from. Takashi 6 9 was a little boy to them. They should have mentored him. They should have mentored him. They should have guided him. They should have protected him. He should not be in federal prison fearing for his life from dudes that was old enough to be his father, uncle, and big brothers. They were supposed to raise him, not destroy him. These dudes, Mel Matrix, Treyway, yeah, I said it. I know they still got gang members in the street. I know they rep they set. I don't give a... Do I look like I'm worried? Anyway. These are the dudes. When you send your son outside to play, they the ones that's recruiting your sons and passing burners to them. Guns. When the police is circling the block, they turn your sons into hostess. So when the police roll up, they the reason why your son got locked up with a gun that you didn't even know your son had because your son wasn't even holding his gun in your house. No, your son is the holster. Your son is the piss boy. These are the dudes that's 40 and 30 years old that like to hang out with the 16 and 18 year old boys, the 21 year old boys to manipulate them, to misguide them, to misuse them. Instead of protecting them, instead of raising them, instead of mentoring them. They All right. So I just want to give you a little bit, a little bit of a taste of that. Uh, it's from another podcast presenter or a presenter about, that goes by the name of Hassan Campbell on YouTube. Just want to give him, give him his uh, credit. But well, my standpoint in with this is. Uh, is that there's a lot of inappropriate behavior going on with this associated with this thing. And those of you that follow him or have heard of Dr. Claude Anderson would know what I'm talking about. That this falls under the auspices of inappropriate behavior. The individuals that were identified in the 18-page indictment the two individuals that were identified here in this video, Mel Murda and Shadi, which are monikers. I don't have the indictment pulled up right now, but I did read it the other day. It has their, uh, you know, their actual names on their, their birth given names. But under those monikers, uh, apparently they were listed in the indictment. And um, of course, given by the descriptions here on this other presentation that these guys were also engaged in appropriate behavior that wrongfully influenced the younger individual, that being Takashi 6 9 And it's to my understanding that Takashi 6 9 is, what, 21, 22 years old, right? Being that considered legally or being considered a legal adult. 21, 22 years old, able to vote, able to purchase liquor, able to buy handguns, and should be should be able to make informed decisions, right? I mean, they should be able to make informed, rational decisions at that age, by age 21, 22, 23, 25, 30, 35, and 40, right? But as often hap what happens in the subculture is that you have those engaged in appropriate behavior. This definitely falls under inappropriate behavior because Takashi 69 should have known or made better choices. 
Now, come to think of it, he's uh, no one to be worthy of concern, really, viewing this from the standpoint of a black first. I mean, is he considered to be an ally to the black community, to black society? Regardless, regardless of what you think of his music, or that may go along with it, really, is he in the position to be of benefit to the collective? That's what you have to ask yourself, first of all. And the other, indi- other two individuals that have wrongfully influenced this young man, What have they done for the collective, for the collective situation, for our collective group as a people? Beyond exploiting and engaging in what's considered criminal activity. I mean, up and up to and up to and including murder. Conspiracy to commit murder. Robbery, kidnapping. Weapons, drugs, which go hand in hand oftentimes, but. I mean, birds of a feather flock together, right? If it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. And this is why Daniel Hernandez sits where he is right now with a federal indictment. Named in a federal indictment. Now, if anything, if anything now... It should be more recognized how he's wrongfully affected and influenced black Native American descendants of slavery, otherwise known as DOS. You think about how much influence he has, the platform he's been given, the behavior and conduct that he's exhibited. He's elevated himself into a position all on his own. He's a grown man. He cannot blame anybody else for his actions or inactions. Just my opinion. The Cogentivist here on the Cogent Talk channel. And I just wanted to touch bases on this. Well, it's still evolving. Apparently, he's now in a detention center. Where it looks to me that he's probably going to be cooperating with the authorities, but we'll have to wait and see, right? All right, thank you very much for tuning in today. I just wanted to drop my two cents on it. Just just another guy with an opinion here on the interwebs. Email contact is cogentconvo at gmail.com and you are in tuned to the Cogent Talk channel. Once in a hopefully less than occasional series, hopefully a frequent series, Hopefully I'll get engaged and prompt discussion. That's the hope anyway. We need more of that nowadays. Talk, have talking points and uh, work towards some some kind of benefit here, if anything. Hopefully it can be informative. Hopefully I was informative to you, for you today. I mean, I mean, who am I, who am I to speak on this type of thing, right? I don't even really listen to the guy's music, but hey, he's influencing popular culture. And that's something I feel I have, I have to have a stake in. Well, thank you for very much. Thank you very, very much for joining me today. I just wanted to uh, drop some knowledge, hopefully, and uh, see what you can do with it. Talk to you later. See you next time. Peace. <laughs>